the story is a girl during the time when we've been reflecting, um, organizing the attic for her mum. And in the attic, she finds a trunk that belonged to her great grandmother or grandparents and reminisces of the things that are important in her life that she remembers through artifacts or objects or memorabilia and also l the legacy that her family has left her. So within the trunk, she'll find maybe a teddy bear that she remembers and then hasn't um, played with for many years. She finds a music, music score she's really keen on finding because it, her grandfather had written it, or a genie bottle, so we have genies. Uh, we have um, a boa and an old, um, headdress because that was her grandmother's in the 20s. So we go through different eras and emotions during the whole find and cleaning up of the attic. And you're dealing with different age ranges, mm -hmm. of course. So how have rehearsals been going in that respect? Well, when we actually started the choreography and the dealing with what we, we've all been dealing with during the, the months prior, Obviously, it was quite hard because a lot of children were not being able to come. So the process was very slow. Once everything got a bit better and more positive, then I think everybody really raised their level because they were excited, they were focused, they were motivated towards the performance. And once we've been in the Macintosh Hall, it's been really incredible. And how, after three years, they've come back a lot of them, it's their first performance because they've never been in the theatre before. So that's exciting for the very, very little ones because the tots are the girls' dream. And then up to our seniors who are not that senior, but there are 14, 15 year olds. So they were nine or 10 when they performed the last time. So it's been a quite a big change for all. It's like a renaissance in the school in a way. So that's been lovely I, I hope uh, they're very excited and I mean going back to that we are still coming out of a pandemic Pro productions like this of mm -hmm. course weren't happening b between 2020 and and now what's it like to be back in the space and to be directing and to be organizing and to be calling the shots um, I was very apprehensive last week and even weeks before because I'm thinking I've lost my knack um, a lot of girls haven't been in the stage before so how are they going to react you know we're not going to be here that many days but as soon as they've come in i think you you know it's like riding a bicycle in a way <laughs> you just get on board and i think if you're passionate about something and you really love what you're doing you it just happens and the girls have been amazing the parents the support network that i have all my helpers and assistants are amazing, so that helps you. It's not myself, it's a team, mm. and teamwork is very important. You said some of them have not been on the stage before. I imagine for the parents, it's got to be exciting to be able to come to a production and see them perform like yeah. this for the first time. Well, um, we, we had the experience of that firsthand when we started to sell the tickets. You know, that day was quite of a, a panic or because they hadn't experienced that before. Um, so I think that they were there. I think they're more excited than the children because obviously the children just take to it and they might not even know what a performance is or what a, a whole production is. The little ones will watch the older ones as well. So it's all a, an educational process as well because they have to learn since they're little how to behave in a theatre, how to respect everybody else that's dancing. They watch the older ones. And the older ones are also inspired by the little ones because everybody's like helping each other along.